So this, this work that I'm stood on is uh, called the Exeter. Uh, it's all about... Uh, it's meant to be like a metaphor for uh, the creative process. <laughs> yeah, a metaphor for the creative process where you can't really control what's going to happen. You've got to work through what's going on around you. So uh, yeah, the, the, it was inspired by um, a story that I read in a book about uh, how the meter, the meter that like, everybody uses, the meter, and uh, yeah, the way that was, the way that got discovered or not discovered, formulated, was by. Um, the Paris Observatory, they used to use it of course, the Paris Museum, and we had a It goes north to south, from the north to the equator, and uh, um, there was a guy, there was a part of it called Jean Arago, and he, um, he met a guy who initiated it, it was called Mesha, Andre Mesha, and he did most of the work, but then he died. But before he died, he met the dad of John Arago, and I've only found this, found this out since doing all this work, but I really like it, because uh, it sort of talks about intelligence and sort of yes. uh, lots of other things in terms of what people are capable of, and, and, and how chance and accident can play a part in someone's life, and mind piece of work. So Meshan met this guy's dad. Uh, he wanted his son to become a scientist, but during that time in Paris to be a scientist, um, he had to be part of the right class, in a literal sense, or in a sense in social terms. But uh, Meshan said to his dad, I think he's best able to be an engineer because, uh, because of this reason. But strangely, uh, he then went to this one, I went to the Yeah, he saw his 
bottom, which is the bottom line, if you draw a line through at the exit to Phoenix, through this gallery, I can't read that exactly, it's rubbish, isn't it? If I drew a line on that, the pencil would probably as thick as, like, I don't know, the ground to John Lewis or something. But I drew a line and it went down to uh, Brixham and up to my head, and I thought I'd walk that and I'd carry it and measure it with the measuring wheel, which is sat there after my video shop thing. If those sultanas were here, there is all the time. I'll get to that. Maybe. So the um, what happened on the walk? So I got to um, I got to Exeter walking, uh, and that took me three days. And because of a couple, one thing that happened, which really drowned my spirits, was that uh, I camped in a field in Timber, a dog, dog walking field. And uh, but it was pitch black, I didn't know where to camp my tent, and I'd not been there before, so I thought I'll sit for 10 minutes just to figure out where I am and soak in the atmosphere. And once I did that, I moved to a dark spot to camp. And I carried my rucksack, which is on the way there along the way, and um, I felt something on my leg, a bit wet, and it turned out it was dog poo, because I put my bag in the dog poo when I was first saying no. Camp, and I didn't have anything with me strong enough to take, you know, bristle wise, to take the dog to off my rucksack. I, I had baby wipes with me, but I didn't have anything that was that coarse in plan. And that, I just gave up after that. I thought there's no point. I was down trodden my spirit. So I found a walk into my center. I stopped measuring with the measuring wheel. I still measured with the measuring wheel. No, no, Chalvin. Charles was 14, I stopped measuring in Charles, and I got as far as 49 49 kilometers in terms of measuring from the measuring wheel. Um, yeah, and I did a carry pedometer as well, but I lost that. So the last time I got it, I did it.